from the beginning to the professional, from experimenting and creating new types of things to create a masterpiece. These are all elements of art. Our art on this show is sound. Hi, I'm L.V. Smith, host of Sounds Within, and I have a brother from another mother. We go way back, and now another co-host of the show, Mr. Bob Lizarraga. We go back, don't we? Thank you. Yeah, very long. <laughs> long time. Long yes. time. <laughs> long time. We're going to go about that thing in another segment, another time, but not this show, because we're so excited to host our very first our very first live band at our new station, I mean at our new studio for Pasadena Media. I'm that excited. So we have here today Alan's Breakfast. Let's meet these guys. First, let's begin with somebody I knew way back in the past, two years ago at the old location. And he is? Patrick Leahy. Patrick Leahy. Whatever happened to Thin Grass? Um, thin Grass dissolved because of uh, issues with uh, finding a practice space. Mm -hmm. And just we end had to go different ways, so. It's the growing thing. Yeah, we all have to grow at points, so uh, we had to do that, and now look where we are. Oh, I love it. And let me tell you, I heard Thin Grass. I was very enthused about them when I first heard them. But to hear where they're going now, folks, take note of this group. Now we're going to meet the drummer. And the drummer is? Ethan Norvell. And I am brothers with this guy here, who is the bass player. We're going to get into that bass player, and uh, how did you get into uh, Alan's Breakfast? Well, he's my brother, and we just started playing music together a long time ago. We actually just got a drum set up in, the, in his room and started playing together, and then Taylor was friends with him, and we just kind of got together and started playing music, and it just made a band all of a sudden. We started playing shows, so... From what I've heard of you, this is a very exciting sound. Now I'm going to sneak past and cut into here to meet the guy on the first instrument I learned to play. And actually, it wasn't, but the first one I love to play is on bass guitar. And we are speaking to Kyle Norvell. Another Norvell. Tell us, how did you stumble on a bass? Uh, my good friend, his dad, gave me his first bass. I had the pickups torn out of it. And he said, uh, learn on this, and one day you'll get a real bass. And sure enough, I'm here now playing on your show. On our show now, and what a good bass player. Let's say a great play bass player in the making here. So we come back to you, and we're going to go blast in the past. Well, he's not the past, but someone in the past is connected to this young man on keyboard. And he is? Taylor Rodiger. Taylor Rodiger. Where did I hear that last name from? Well, my mom used to work at the same elementary school that I went to and you worked at. Now, we're really digging way back there. We're talking close to 20 years here, so <laughs> I'm feeling my age. So, great. How did you become part of Alan's Breakfast? Uh, well, like Ethan was saying earlier, they kind of picked up and started to play music, and then um, I don't know, I just kind of learned how to play through jamming with them, and we all kind of just eventually are, were like, hey, let's start a band, and, and it just kind of evolved into what it is now. Great, great. Bob, tell us, how did you come into meeting and putting together uh, Alan's Breakfast to promote? Uh, this all started uh, with the garage band and uh, kids. I just run into different kids and uh, met Kyle. And I met uh, also Richard Ray, which is going to be in your next show. And um, I asked him if they could help me out at a fundraiser. And sure enough, um, he showed up with Alan's Breakfast. And they put on a show. Yes, they did. They really did put on the show, didn't they? And, and um, they were, uh, where were, you, were they playing last? Uh, the last place they played, and I'm sorry I missed you guys' performance, but at the Crow's Nest in Tahunga. And uh, I know they were awesome, because every time I listen to them, they are awesome. I mean, they put me in a trance. And I hope that doesn't sound wrong, but no. the music is, is amazing. Uh, the drummer keeps my heart beating, the basses, keeps the rhythm going, and then they put in the melody, Taylor and Patrick over here, and it, they blow my mind. Yes, they are a mind-expanding experience. What are we going to hear from Alan's Breakfast? Uh, a song called Accepting Acceptance. That sounds great. Folks, let's check out Alan's Breakfast performing Accepting Acceptance.
Oh, Alan's breakfast, accepting acceptance. That was really breathtaking. Tell me, Uncle Bob, tell us about uh, what is happening. How did they get the roots into performing? That, I don't know. They have the talent. They're, they're, they're musicians of their own. And uh, me, I just try to encourage them to keep on performing. And I try to I help them out with, with what I can. I volunteer my time with uh, the local bands in our community. And it's all about music. Doesn't it feel good? Didn't they make you feel good? Did Beyond good. I mean, you had Aletha, who comes from another realm of music, and she was bouncing around like a ball. 
Aletha is our stage manager, and thank you so much for taking this assignment and the rest of the crew. Now, uh, Bob, uh, time is running on us. Where are their roots in forming Allen's Breakfast? How do they get involved in bands? To be honest with you, I, I still want to question them how they started Allen's Breakfast. Okay, that sounds great. Okay, Taylor, how did you get influenced to start Allen's Breakfast from the roots of it all? Well, um, Alan's Breakfast uh, originally was the bassist, the drummer, and I learning how to play with each other, and uh, a different guitarist, and then we just kind of all learned how to play music and started doing shows with uh, the local scene that we're a part of. Wonderful, wonderful. And you, Patrick, tell us, how uh, are there any organizations that encourage kids or anything like that? Um, well... I'm not too sure about out in the public, but I know we're part of a scene called Mother Turf right now, and uh, it's kind of a community of musicians and bands that all help each other find shows and book shows and promote shows, and you know, just so we can end up with the best shows possible for everyone. Mother Turf, Mother Turf. How did they come about? Um, that, I believe, is between Richard and Barrett um, from 100 Onces, who will be on the next show, I believe. And uh, they could tell you more about how it started, but pretty much I think they had an idea to help get bands out there, you know, and get more recognition for everyone. Wonderful, wonderful. Brother Novell, Brother Novell, tell us about the roots of how uh, young folks can be involved in this band or group called Mother Turf. Well, I mean, I think one of the main things is, is get involved with social media, like Facebook is just a big thing to help. and. If anybody's on that, you know, we're always telling people about shows, you know, that you could go to. It, it doesn't matter if it's our show or another band show. Just, it's really nice to have Facebook or something like that that can help you get out there. Great. So you're saying that social media can be a positive tool. We always hear all the bad stories about it, like blah, 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 all the gossip and dirty laundry. But no, here's social media being used to promote bands, promote talent, to listen to one another. Tell us how Mother Turf has helped you. Um, Mother Turf is a great music collective that is based around music itself. So it's musicians, a lot of young people who come out and are promoting music, a lot of instrumental things going on, um, where it's not just about singing and partying and having a good time, but it's about people coming out and expressing real raw talent. So by doing that, we have a community based where my friends' friends can see all of our different bands play together, and therefore we can draw and have a bigger crowd and share more with not only us as being friends in bands, but also with other people as far as them being musicians and so on and so forth. Cannot be better said. Cannot be better said. Which means we should begin into another song by Alan's Breakfast here. So what are we going to hear now? We are going to play By My Fireplace. By My Fireplace, by Alan's Breakfast. Come on, brother. We got to go hear some great music.
By My Fireplace by Alan's Breakfast. Alan's Breakfast. I am so excited. I am tongue tied. I've never been that tongue tied before, Bob. Listen, man, we got to find out uh, what are these kids' dreams and hopes and what they can inspire for the next group of 100 Once's and Alan's Breakfast. That sounds good to me. <laughs> and you know what? It's hot in here, isn't it? It's hot in here. Oh, yeah, from the music. It is smoking. I mean, I, I was broken to sweat. I was nice and cool and chilly in here. And then that music came on. I mean, I was frying. Well, we got to find out what can we pass on word, words of wisdom to the next group of musicians. What are your words of wisdom, Brother Taylor? Well, I mean, we're still trying to do it ourselves. But uh, what we've been doing is just constantly uh, pushing our music and um we, you know, play out of town if you can and just constantly get yourself out there by any means. Take a gig's a gig. Use that opportunity to network, you know. Another thing we always do is, like, give out stickers with our website on them, uh, you know, just and cross-promote our friends like Kyle mentioned before. You know, if, if their friends come out, then that just is better for the whole scene. And, you know, just word of mouth is really what we rely on. Great, great. You know, uh, we've been told in the past that self-promotion is a bad thing. No, it's not. It really is a great thing. So what do you have for words of wisdom? Um, I would just say play as often as you can and experiment with as diff many different styles and uh, techniques as you can because there's really when you think about it, anything is music, any sound is music, and there's when it comes to uh, the Western music, there's only 12 notes. So you can figure out what you want to do with those 12 notes, and if you can hear them in your head, you could figure out how to play that. That is great. That is very sound advice because a lot of times a lot of us come into self-doubt. That beats up on so many of us. What are your words of, um, words of rhythm and wisdom, Brother Norvell? I just have to say listen to as much music as you can, as much as trying to play the right music. Listen to the right music to try and get you know stuff that, you know, everybody hears rock music, but maybe you could go for something more interesting, like listen to Latin music, listen to jazz music. And I know especially for drummers, that kind of stuff is just, you can hear it, you can play it, you know, just like he was saying. And of course, practice as much as you can, you know, and don't feel shy to get involved in other groups too, you know. If there's a jazz band at your school or something like that, I know that we were, all three of us were a part of the jazz bands at our school, so that helps a lot. And it's Yes, it does. Don't stay in the music box. And your parting words of wisdom, can you sum it up in 30 seconds? Yes. Um, good words of wisdom is, it's more about the approach as far as it's not necessarily what you're playing, but it's how you're playing it. And that speaks a lot through as what you go. It's not about the events we throw and what we're actually doing there, but how we're doing it and the means we're doing it by via with our friends and with the entire scene as a whole. Um, and that promotion through that gets seen regardless. Indeed. So glad to have Alan's breakfast here. Uncle Bob, thank you for bringing this fantastic band in. So they're going to have to close us out. And we're going to give them extended playing time. So what are we going to, unfortunately, part off? Uh, one of our first songs called Picked Up. Okay, the Picked Up. Closing Alan's breakfast. Thank <laughs> you. 